from Hobart and William Smith Colleges, this is Meet the Campus with John Heavey. This week, we'll sit down with the Associate Director of Annual Giving, Skylar Beaver, visit the Center for Global Education Program Coordinator, Doug Riley, and go into the office of Assistant Director of Health Professions Counseling and Fellowship Advising, Renee Nearpass. So join me this week and every week for Meet the Campus with me, John Heavey. Because if it matters to you, it matters to me. Graduating in 2008, Skylar Beaver remained at her alma mater to serve as the Associate Director of Annual Giving in the Alumni House. Through this position, Skylar is able to connect with other alums who have the same love and passion for Hobart and William Smith Colleges. Gifts to the colleges every year, gifts to the annual fund, are what keep this place going. It's no other gifts that um, have a more direct impact on students today. It's been a really great experience being a former student at William Smith. Um, I feel a really strong connection to alums and it's been really rewarding. So leading up to reunion next week, we've been working with reunion committees all year long starting almost a year ago. Um, we have close to 100 volunteers from the classes ranging from 1960 to 2005 and they've been working really hard and encouraging their classmates to come back to campus reunion and also give back in honor of their milestone reunion. And again, it's a gift of any size, any designation, it's all about participation. I love working reunion. It's kind of the big thing of the whole year that we look forward to. It's a lot of work, it's exhausting, but it's all worth it when that weekend comes and Saturday everyone's dancing on the quad and the fireworks are going. Um, it's a really rewarding time. Working in the Center for Global Education, Doug Riley is charged with the task of helping HWS students prepare to go abroad and then helping them process that experience when they return. Through his work, Riley helps HWS students turn a semester abroad into a lifelong experience. Well, we like to think about study abroad not as a one semester experience but as a three semester experience. So we feel like that the semester before students go and the semester uh, when students return is, is equally as important in terms of in terms of like the education and the experience of, of study abroad. I help them get ready to go and then I work with students when they return uh, to help them help give them some ideas about how they can uh, reflect on their experience a little bit and then apply it to the rest of what they do at Hobart William Smith and then you know, to the rest of their lives. Uh, we do a goal setting session with all students. We do travel photography workshops, journal writing workshops. I help students make movies. I help students um, make uh, make zines. Uh, all these things are designed to both give them better, more skills so that they have a better experience abroad, but it's also designed to get them thinking about what they want out of that experience. As the Assistant Director of Fellowship Advising, Renee Nearpass is instrumental in preparing our students to go all over the world to engage in interesting work and study. Whether it's Fulbrights or Rhodes Scholars, Renee is there to make sure our students hit the ground running. It's really given them that exceptional opportunity to do something really big that's directly related to their career interests. My position was just set up about three years ago to provide an opportunity for students who are high achievers and doing very well academically to apply for the nationally competitive scholarships and fellowships. I try to get the word out to students and I try to work very closely with faculty, staff, and administrators, letting them know about these excellent opportunities that students can apply for. Students certainly are encouraged to not only do very well in their academics, but look at their academics in terms of a broad spectrum by getting involved in independent studies, honors projects, getting actively involved in leadership opportunities, as well as internships. And um, the Salisbury Center for Career Services does that very extensively. I'm John T.S. Heavey. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next week for another edition of Meet the Campus.